Hey there, Fluidity family. Timothy here from Wear the Rope. In today's submission on the Wear the Rope app, we've got Clem asking for Ace to Matador to Oban Sneak review advice. So here we go. Okay, we can see he's leaning quite back quite a bit. Yeah, on the Ace, he's really bending back to make it happen. Okay, very common, we'll start with that. Very common mistake, something I was doing in the beginning as well as a video of me in Joshua Tree. And I'm doing the same thing where I'm like bending my back to get the rope to make the pattern happen behind me because I didn't have the right understanding of timing of the left and the right side and the rotation down as well. With you go under it without letting your spine lean back at all. Okay. So it's down, no, no, don't lean back, go down, there you go. Boom, be ready to jump like a part, there you see how much better? Yeah. Now feel the shift in your weight and your feet now. It's gonna go, ba-boom, ba-boom, there you go, feel it. So what, what Clem's doing here is leaning back to make it happen which is a great back bend. It's good if you want to open up the spine. But what we want to do when we're doing an ace and for most of the patterns is to think about the rotation. So rather than back bend to make it happen, we're using rotation, which is all about where the left and the right hand are. So if you drew a line through my body coming out like this out the sides, when my left hand is in front of it, my right hand should be behind it and the other way around. So the same with ace is the hand should, left hand should be slightly in front of it and the right hand should be behind it here. And then it comes over and then they can meet at the front in this pattern here. So rather than both hands being behind it, where I, which means that I have to bend my back so that it doesn't hit my heels down here, we want to use rotation to keep the left hand in front and this right arm come, sneaks out behind, boom, ace like that. So that's ace advice there for Clem. Now let's look at the rest of his form. Looking at the underhand sneak here. Yeah. Oh, overhand. Yeah, so we can see some advice as well for the overhand sneak, or well, it's actually the underhand sneak, but he's looking this way, so it feels like it's the overhand. His arm's quite straight. Now this is a very common issue, something I had a lot of trouble with as well myself. When I saw myself in video, I could see my arm's pretty straight and we wanted to get it to bend. So he's, he's kind of fencing off like this and we want to find the rotation. The point is to spread, spread the movement pattern evenly through each joint. If the elbow's quite straight, then the wrist has to extra bend and we cause strain in the wrist to make it happen. We want to even spread this movement pattern throughout the joints so that we are even and efficient throughout the body. So rather than this backhand straight arm, I want to think about that bend. You see, I've got almost a 90 degree bend in my elbow. One way to practice this is the one arm flow, just like that. You can, one of my favorites to do that one, boom. But rather than, you see, if you did it with one arm, you wouldn't want to be doing that. It would just feel kind of weird. You want to let the, the weight of the rope and the arm work together. So just to get a bit more bend in that as we're doing it, and then ace over the top, matador, ace over the top. My weight's on top of my feet, so I'm not losing balance. Weight's over my feet, ace, matador, he's doing as well, ace, sneak. And you can see even from the front on, how much more my elbow's bending to make it happen, rather than, you can kind of see in Clem's video, it's quite straight like that. We want it to be. That's it for this episode of Form Review. Thanks for submitting, Clem. If you've got a different thing that I've not covered, I've done Matador, Drag and Roll, Ace. If there's another technique, for Home Run or something else you're struggling with, please submit it through the app and we'll review it for episode four. Make the bump, make one bump to the other. You feel that? Boom, 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 boom. There's the event, the rest floats.